Hi there, this is Jenna with Time to Pet. In this video, we'll be reviewing the general tab of the company settings section of your account. Company settings can be found in the settings section of your Time to Pet account. As you may have guessed, this section is where you can configure a lot of the information in Time to Pet related to your company. First up in the general tab is your primary contact details. This is where you can add your company name. Your company name will appear in many places in Time to Pet, including on invoices and in emails sent to clients and on your client portal website. Your company email address can be the same or can be different from your admin email address. This will also be included in many places in Time to Pet, such as on invoices, email sent to clients, and on your client portal website. You can add a link to your company website here, as well as links to your social pages, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Yelp. When these links are added, they will also appear in many places in Time to Pet. You can add phone numbers here. It's completely optional to add phone numbers. Just keep in mind that these will also appear in many places in Time to Pet, such as your emails, invoices, and the client portal website. In the address section, you can add your business street address. This will also appear in many places in Time to Pet, so you can definitely skip these fields if you don't want to add your address, especially if your business address is the same as your home address and you do not want clients to see this information. Many of our customers will simply add their city and state here. And last is the locale section. This is where you can add your company's currency. Time to Pet supports many different currencies. If pet sitting services are taxable in your area, you can add tax rates here that can automatically be added to client invoices. Once tax rates are added here, you can go into your services list and indicate which services are taxable by selecting the services taxable box. The last section of your general tab of your company settings is zip codes served. You can add zip codes here that can then be added to individual staff profiles to indicate their service area for the clients that they serve. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at